hey, 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 it's Chrissy Lulu. So today I want to talk about anime art in art class. So this has been a topic that's been floating around YouTube and everywhere since like the dawn of time, it feels, <laughs> at times, you know? Um, so why don't teachers like anime art? What is so wrong about it? So, um... My view on this is drawing anime art can actually hurt you. Um, learning to draw the wrong way can hurt your drawing in the future. Uh, as my art teacher said in my college um, drawing class, my first one, uh, if you had experience, like previous drawing experience, going into his class, that would put you at a disadvantage. He'd rather have you not know how to draw than know how to draw. So technically that would have meant I was at a disadvantage, but I did pretty well in that class. But um, there's a lot of rule breaking that goes on in anime. Anime typically makes legs longer, torso skinnier, it's unrealistic body proportions and yeah that may be something you want to go for in the future but you've got to learn the basics first I remember when I started drawing I didn't I could not draw ladies I could not get their boobs right I couldn't get anything right I just wanted to stick with men because I could not do it right and my faces were all messed up I look back on art from 2015 and my faces are so low on their face. I put their eyes below the halfway mark. So they have huge foreheads and face scrunched up on the bottom half of their face. So you kind of do need to know what you're doing before going into anime art. So going into a class and then purposely doing anime art is kind of... You're eliminating yourself. Um, you're refusing to allow yourself to learn and grow your art through learning the basics. Honestly, I think it's not the best idea to try and put your anime art into your art classes. I tend, I myself, keep my anime art and my class art very separate. I do very realistic art for my art classes and then I do a more anime-like style. I am kind of feel like I've been evolving away from anime through these past years of drawing and everything. I can still see all my inspirations and everything but I do feel like I'm finally starting to develop my own style, which I definitely do want to do my own dedicated video to that in the future. But again, you need to learn the basics. You need to know where on the face things go. You need to know how real hair works. You need to know how how clothes work. This is why we see drawings where the hair is flat on the head. The hair just doesn't poof off of the head. They haven't observed reality enough. They haven't seen how hair kind of grows up and then it comes and flattens more on the head. But it always grows up off the head. It comes off the head and folds in clothes. I honestly find folds and clothes to be one of the most fun things to draw. Um, we did a whole class assignment in my intro class just drawing the folds on a sweatshirt on a mannequin and that was the most fun I had drawing something. <laughs> like one of the most fun things I drew in that class and I was like oh my god. <laughs> so I mean while I don't draw a lot of clothed people in class, because we have our nude models and everything, which that in and of itself really helps with anatomy. 
if you're drawing from someone live. Um, I can discuss nude models in the future and everything. I want to talk about that in depth because I love our models. They're wonderful. We got two new models recently and the two female models we've been having are absolutely amazing posers. They like don't move an inch. But <laughs> yeah, um, again, going back, I, sorry for the tangent. Um, clothing, the wrinkles on clothes. This is something that I never did. People never had wrinkles in their clothes. They just were flat on. <laughs> you could see like their boobs right through their shirts. Um, but yeah, unless it's like tight, like what Miss June is wearing here. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I renamed Miss Junko here and switched it over to June just because, well, I do love the name Junko. It is a Japanese name that I got from a site when I created her and she's not Japanese. She's blondie. She's a blondie with heterochromia. But, um, yeah, unless the clothes are tight to the body, your clothes should have folds. Even if it's tight to the body, there should be some folds and stuff. If it's loose, it should look loose. You should see all of these folds, and the cur the folds should go and curve with the body. So there's, like, tons to learn just from some from observing stuff, and that's kind of what your teachers want you to do. They they don't want you to limit yourself. They want you to push yourself and try for realism, even if that's not where you want to end up in the end. They want you to at least try, and they want you to be able to better yourself. Um, so I don't, I think maybe there are some teachers out there who may hate anime art out of spite, but there are, I feel like a good majority of the teachers don't hate anime art because it's anime, but they're hating it because you're not letting yourself grow as much as you can. Your teachers want the best for you most times. Um, that your teachers went into this profession to help teach people, to teach people these skills. So uh, by kind of going against them, they aren't able to do their job. So they just want, they want, they're here to help. So even if you hate it and everything, I feel like it's always better to follow your teacher's instructions. Your teachers sometimes do know what's best. So, yeah. <laughs> I hope I gave an interesting perspective on this problem. Um, I've heard tons of people talk about it, though normally people are talking about how they have a prejudice against anime art and kind of their experiences. Uh, well, I haven't really had a lot of experience of experiencing a teacher get mad at me for doing anime art because I always kept it separate. It's just I wanted to put my own perspective into this. But yeah, um, I hope this video helped you guys. hope it was interesting to listen to. If you really liked it, please press the like button. And also press the little subscribe button. That helps me a lot if you really want to keep updated on when I upload in the future. I'm not doing <laughs> too great at it, but I am trying to upload on Wednesdays, Saturdays, and trying to have art supply Sundays every once in a while on, you guessed it, Sundays. So yeah, it would help, um, if, especially if you subscribe and I'm not keeping to my schedule. That would that help you keep in line with me. I'll try and get better into it in the future. Um, leave a comment if you want. Let me know what you guys think, kind of add to my perspective, please. Like, give me your knowledge. <laughs> Share this with a friend too. Spread spread my videos, I would that would help me a ton. I am not very big at the moment. I would 
love to spread out a bit. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!